I bet you guys like seeing the bureau out there, huh? That was fucking crazy, wasn't it? With the fucking red filter. Good old red. I like using the red once in a while when it's really, really sunny out. So that was definitely a class A capture, hands down. Yeah, pat on the back for me. I'll take the pat on the back. Yeah, way to go. I know, I know. Good at capturing that son of a bitch. So, anyway, I want to give a shout out to uh, Joe. He wrote such a long um, comment that he might as well read a book. Boy, this guy is a rock star. Joe, you rock. Thumbs up. Uh, you really went in depth. Uh, Shit, where do I begin? Uh, you're talking about, okay, in the beginning you are talking about how Saudi Arabia is not a good country. Okay, I agree with you. They're not a good country, and they're not prepared for a war with Iran. Otherwise, they would have attacked them already. They're scared of Iran. They're scared of the missiles raining down on their country because they know that the THAAD, the Terminal High Altitude Aerial Defense System, can only shoot down so much. So they're kind of scared. They're like, yeah, I got THAAD, but I don't think THAAD's going to protect us. So... And they butcher Christians and burn churches throughout the Middle East and in Syria. And they hate Christianity. So if you hate Christianity, I'm not a big fan of you. I never said I was a big fan of Saudi Arabia. I think Saudi Arabia should have been the one bombed after 9-11 because they were the ones with all the goddamn hijackers. Here we are attacking Afghanistan when it was Saudi Arabia all to begin with. Should have been bombing the capital, bombing the palace out of that motherfucker and going after them terrorists. But no, we let them all go. Eventually, we ended up catching up with these motherfuckers later on along the way. But it was Saudi Arabia. You may come from Saudi Arabia. You may not like that, but it's fucking true. So I like you a lot more than I like Iran. I mean, Iran is the worst of the worst. This is why Joe commented he thinks that Israel will be completely destroyed. Well, I believe that Israel is going to get hit big time. There's no way you can stop all those missiles coming in at one time. There's just no way. You know what I know, that the Iron Dome was going to shoot down between 85 to 90% of them. But what, these are the big heavy hitters. This ain't no fucking half-ass Haji fucking rocket from some dumbass who put it together in his grandpa's basement, okay? This is military-grade shit. This is guided missiles. These are fucking ballistic missiles that will come raining down on Israel. This is why Israel is shitting their pants right now, because now, guess what? All that talk about how I want to kill Iran, kill Iran, destroy Iran because Iran wants me dead. Well, guess what? The ball is in your glove right now. It's waiting for you to pick it up and throw it at them. So now is your chance to shine. Now is your chance, Israel. If you want to you wanna eliminate these motherfuckers, if you want to do a bonging campaign, joint bonging campaign along with the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, I don't think Saudi Arabia's got enough balls to do it. I know the U.S. maybe... But I know Netanyahu is the only one over there with enough fucking balls to make it happen, to blow this facility. I can't believe he hasn't done it already with all the talk about this thing getting started up and shooting missiles at our Israel. But it is what it is. So, like I said, the U.S. carrier group, like I said in my previous videos, is in the area. So watch out, Iran. F-22s are in the air. B-52s are flying today. B-2s are up in the air. Everybody's up in the air. So... They're all waiting on you to do something stupid here today. So where's it? Where's the attack going to come from? Is it going to attack in Saudi Arabia? Is it going to be Syria? Is it going to be Iraq? Is it going to be down there in the Hormuz Strait? Where is the next attack going to come from? Put it in the comment section below. Where do you think the next attack is going to come from? I believe the next attack is going to come in Syria. I believe these fucking Iranians have the green light to attack American special forces, and I believe they're probably going to attack them there. If they're not going to attack there, they're going to attack Iraq again in the green zone. They're going to fucking do something to them over there. They fucking hate the Americans. The Americans basically got voted out yesterday from uh, the Iraqi parliament, voted to get the hell out of my country. They don't want the American troops in there because they don't want having to have a bullseye on their country with these, when these fucking scud missiles start raining down. They don't want that. 
They don't want that in their country. They've had enough fucking war and turmoil. They're done with it. They just want they just want to build up a new society and that's it. So they don't want your fucking war. They want their war about as much as I want your fucking war. I don't want your fucking war either. I wanted you to do a bombing campaign, but you're too big of a fucking pansy to fucking make it happen, Trump. You State Department. What the fuck, dude? Here these people are attacking you, preaching death to you, and yet you don't even have enough balls to send in a fucking reaper or a predator drone and just take care of this guy once and for all? You guys are pussies, dude. Straight up. Straight up. So, but there you go, Joe. I don't know. I don't know what you think, Joe. I don't know. Leave a comment, Joe. I don't know. You don't have to make it as long as the last one, but I read that whole thing, and I don't know. This is biblical. I believe, Joe, that this is probably going to be like Ezekiel 38, 39, and all the armies are going to, including Turkey and Russia, are going to side against Israel and will attack Israel because that's what it says it will do in the Bible. Is the Bible true? We'll find out. It usually is. It's the most highly read book in the world. So, because the Bible tells me so, that's the, way it's, that's the way it's shaping out to be over there, isn't it? Everybody's g gathering all around Israel. Uh, all armies are gathering around Israel. Even the Iranians. Just east of the Golan Heights, right outside of Damascus. They have missiles aimed at Israel as I'm speaking to you right now. And they're guided missiles. And they're just waiting for the order from Salami, the head of the Revolutionary Guard, to fire. So get ready, Netanyahu. Get ready, Israelis. These motherfuckers are going to do something soon. I have a feeling something's coming your way. They hate you. Hate you. More than anything, these terrorists, these Iranians, these Revolutionary Guard. And they want you dead. So get ready. Use your training that you have. And be victorious and kick their fucking ass just like the Bible said it would. If you have to resort to using Jericho ones and twos, then use your Jericho ones and twos. As long as you can win this fight. If you don't know what Jerichos are, look it up on the, on the internet. They're nukes. The Jericho 1 was originally supposed to be fitted on, like, F4 Phantoms and shit like that. So it could be it could be used, like, on an F-15 and, F, and F-35 to drop and deliver a fucking nuke right to your front door. And you wouldn't even know it. It was in there. Especially if they used an F-35. Imagine if they put eight nukes on their F-35s and went after the Capitol. They went after the... They could do it. They could do two planes at the Capitol... And the remainder is six planes bomb the shit out of this nuclear power plant and be done with it. Come back home for lunch and the war is over. They have nothing more. You need to strike first, Israel, or else they're going to strike you. I have a feeling they're going to hit you and they're going to hit you hard. So you got to put the fear of fucking God into them. Because that's all they're going to understand now at this point. They, they have no other choice but war. We have choked them out physically... We have choked them up financially, psychologically, as they claim now. It's not psychological, Iran, or anybody in Iran listening to this transmission. That's just part of the tools of the trade. That's what we call tools of war. It has nothing to do with psychological. If you want to call it psychological, you can call it whatever the hell you want, because our shit's better than yours, and that's it. Our pilots are better, our planes are better, everything is better, and we're going to get your ass kicked, because that's, that's basically what's going to happen. So I would tone down your rhetoric towards Trump, and stop saying that I'm never going to fucking agree to him unless, unless he turns, unless he gives you back my nuclear treaty deal. He, that's what he said, he said that this morning, he said, I have nothing to say to those bullies unless, unless I get my nuclear treaty deal back, and he tried to talk to China, China this morning, trying to get China on his side to get the nuclear treaty deal up china's like well i well, i think yeah that's as long as america's paying for it i don't care oh they don't give a fuck they're not paying iran to keep quiet it's america it was america that was paying iran 
I don't agree with that. You don't pay a country just so they don't destroy you when you're ten times more, more than ten times more powerful. Thousands of times more powerful than Iran. We could obliterate Iran probably 500 times over again if we really wanted to. Glass. You're all glass and blown apart like leaves. Remember that shadows video I said a long time ago? Is that what you want to be, Rohani? Just a shadow? Look behind you right now. All you Iranians, look behind you right now. See that shadow? You fuck with the U.S., that shadow will be burnt into the fucking wall. Burnt right into the concrete. That'll be you. That'll be all that's left of you. If you think that you can, for one minute, shut down the Hormuz Strait and start firing upon USS Arleigh Bird destroyers, you got another thing coming, Iran. You think for one minute when the, when the U.S. Marines show up there on that beach and you start blowing them up, you don't think that Donald Trump is the kind of president that's going to bring you the hate? Oh, you're going to get it. He's going to give it to you. He's that kind of president. I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just like me. He doesn't give a fuck. He'd just take you out. Of course, in my case, you'd already be dead. Your leaders would already be dead. They'd be in a fucking coffin right now getting ripped apart by fucking maggots. So, we'll find out what today will bring. I don't know. It's too quiet. It is quiet. There's an attack coming. I know it's coming. There is something coming. It is too fucking quiet. They are gathering. They are assembling right now. They are getting ready. They are getting geared up. They are getting the missiles ready. They are getting bombs planted. They are ready. They are getting ready. Are you ready? The Revolutionary Guard and the Iranian people are ready for you. Is the American people ready for attacks on U.S. soil? Well, you better get ready for it because it's coming. This is the kind of war we're going to have. It's going to go right and it's going to hit close right in your own neighborhoods. Right in your own hometowns. There's going to be bombings. This war will spill on over. This is why we haven't attacked him yet because Trump is shitting his pants. He's shitting his pants about all the bombs over there that are laying for, waiting for his 10,000 Marines. And he's shitting his pants because he knows the war is going to be dragging into... England, Germany, France, Spain, Australia, America, anybody that had their prick in the fucking sand in Iraq and had something to do with the Iraq war, they're targets now, according to the Iran, and they will come after you and they will attack you. Without hesitation and full speed. They have indomitable spirit. They will not quit until they blow you up. So, this is the world we're in now. This is the world we're facing. This is what it's going to become. God bless you. God bless America. They made the law enforcement bust as many cells as possible and uh, get these motherfuckers before they strike. Before they strike. That's the main thing. We got to get them before they strike, right? All right. Well, I love you all. You guys have a good day. So I'm going to let you go here. So there's the newest news. Peace all. In love from Fargo.